Man, we thought 2020 was weird. 2021 is giving us some other weird things to talk about, too. Like, for example, the Laval Rocket going out there and playing a game against the Toronto Marlies yesterday, and having two brand new faces in the lineup. Yeah, you know from the title in the thumbnail, Carey Price and Brendan Gallagher were in Laval yesterday, or at least, no, not Laval per se, they were technically just in Montreal because, hey, they were playing in the Bell Centre because Laval has been playing there this season. But before we dive a little bit deeper, though, thank you to those in the comments of the previous Canadians video who commented Windsor Spitfires. If you want a chance to be featured in the next Habs video, then hey, stick around to the end of this one. Also, please try not to skip because that kind of defeats the purpose. But overall, we had ourselves a game yesterday which featured the likes of Gallagher and Price against the Toronto Marlies. Now, this was seen by many people as a super weird yet appropriate kind of decision. It was one of those things where it was like, you think about it, immediately you're like, whoa, that's really weird. And then as you process it, it's like, oh, okay, that kind of does make sense. Although, at the very least, it still is kind of weird. Because as we know, for Brendan Gallagher and Carey Price, Carey Price is one of the top goaltenders in the NHL by reputation, and Brendan Gallagher is one of the better goal scorers and play drivers on the Montreal Canadiens as a whole. So just acknowledging that these guys were sent to Laval and played for a game... That's kind of weird, man. That's a piece of trivia that people are going to talk about in the next few decades, I would think. Oh, which Hall of Fame goaltender that won the Hart Trophy in the 2000s played an extra game in the AHL after being a playoff starter in X amount of games in the past? Who is Carey Price in 2021? Same with Brendan Gallagher, of course, but, you know, just getting the novelty aside, we indeed had this game yesterday, and I just wanted to talk a little bit more about this situation. So, firstly, it was actually Brendan Gallagher who was approached by Mark Bergevin himself and asked directly about this idea, to which he said, yeah, it's a great idea to get a game in before the playoffs, and he was really glad he took the opportunity. Gallagher had been out for six weeks already, which is why, you know, just getting your feet under you, getting those gears turning, and actually getting a chance to play a game is a pretty good thing because you don't want your first immediate shift out there to be of the most importance when you're going out there against the Matthews line in Game 1 of the playoffs. As for Carey Price, he had those concussion things earlier on as well. Really unfortunate stuff to see what happened with him. Obviously, if we want to see Canadians hockey prevail in this year's 2021 playoffs, you know Carey Price has to be the guy. Jake Allen, he's great. Really good player. Love what Jake Allen has done this season. But the question is, can Jake Allen win you a series? Can he win you a division? Can you win you a conference in the playoffs? Carey Price is that guy who has been so close to winning the conference before, but who has always had that pedigree of having the potential towards being able to do that. You would say, oh, back in X, whichever year it was, if he wasn't taken out, then maybe instead of having Dustin Tokarski in there, we might have actually had some success and maybe have won a conference, but old wounds, right? That was a while ago. But when it comes to the game that the Canadiens farm team played against the Maple Leafs farm team, it's ultimately a 2 to nothing defeat for the Laval Rocket. And this one isn't really all that great right away, because Carey Price, I mean, the two goals the Laval Rocket led up were both on Carey Price early in the game. One of them was a weird scramble out in front where the puck kind of bobbled and eventually got shoved in through the wickets, something like that. And then the other one was a nice passing play that eventually ended up as a top cheese snipe. Obviously, that's not best case scenario seeing Carey Price of all people go down to the AHL and let in two quick ones, but hey. The guy's playing his first speck of hockey in weeks now, and it's against competition that he really doesn't have all too much to prove against. So whether he lets up two goals or ten goals, it doesn't really matter. He's just here to get his conditioning back up. And even though he let in the two early ones, he did look pretty solid towards the rest of the frame. Obviously, the Rocket only let in two in general, so he, Carey Price, as well as Caden Primo, who took over in the third period, were pretty good the entire way through after the two goals were allowed. As for Brendan Gallagher, though, he was a guy who honestly did come out here with a little bit of a bite, and it's something that I think is really interesting to note because obviously, you know, I mean, Brendan Gallagher, he's established NHL player. Like, he doesn't really need to come out here to the AHL and show up these kids in theory, right? But as we know about Gallagher, hey, the guy doesn't take a night off. He goes out there, he plays hard, and it doesn't matter who he's against, he's gonna go out there and do his thing. 
And so now to see Brendan Gallagher go back to Laval wearing number 17, the number he wore for the Hamilton Bulldogs back in 2012-13, he went out there and actually had himself a pretty good game. Started things out on the line with Jordan Wheel and Raphael Harvey Pinard, which is absolutely crazy because Harvey Pinard to me is like that guy who embodies the Gallagher kind of spirit, you know, that Gallagher, Paul Byron sort of mentality towards the game. So having Gallagher and Harvey Pinard together to me at least, sounds like a very good combination because of how effective they can be in terms of pressuring opposition defense. But social media was really quick to point out just how much of an impact Brendan Gallagher was bringing out there because this was a guy who has that spirit. We all know he's got that bite. And he was going out there showing off in the Rockets system that he can still be that difference maker, you know? Go out there, give his team some life, rejuvenate the bench with his strong play. And overall, he had a few moments like that in this game yesterday where he goes out, he has a shift, he's really hard on the puck, and it inspires the rest of the team to go out there and match that energy. That's what Brendan Gallagher does, man. He's been doing that in Montreal for a long time now. So seeing that step, that bite, really just present in his game still in the AHL, it's a good sign, especially since he hasn't played in such a long time. Gallagher went to the box. He was out there cross-checking guys in front, too. You could really just tell he is in it to win it with no hesitations. He ends the night off with zero goals, zero assists. I mean, the Rocket got shut out, so everybody had zero goals, zero assists. But Gallagher had four penalty minutes two shots on goal, and was a minus one. He was played a lot out there. He even said it himself, it feels like he played the last four minutes of the entire game wasn't since Pee Wee, since he actually had that kind of scenario happen to him. So ultimately, in what was an eventual loss for Laval, a night where Carey Price lets in two out of the 15 total shots he faces in two periods of play, we ultimately get ourselves a really interesting treat that ends off with a Toronto Marlies win. Before we finish this video, though, I wanted to say one more thing about this, and it's really not a good thing. That's why I saved this to the end of the video. But we had some other news about the Marlies before this game actually went down. And the thing that got a lot of people talking was the fact that the Maple Leafs actually sent Scott Sabarin down to the Marlies. And, you know, a lot of people immediately, the bad Leafs fans on social media, jumped at this and were like, whoa, they're gonna send Scott Sabrin down? This is gonna be the Conspiracy Theory 3.0 coming to play. Sabrin's gonna go to the Marlies. He's gonna play Gallagher and Price. He's gonna take them out, injuring them in the process so that it gives the Canadians a bigger disadvantage when Price and Gallagher come back. And, you know, I was just kind of thinking when I saw that, I was like, really? Okay, that's not gonna happen here. He didn't even play. Play. Okay, that was, uh, yeah, I'm recording this beside my window right now. It's Monday, May 17th, the night of here, and in Vancouver, it's raining. rain Coover, as it's called. I'm not even gonna edit that out. That was beautiful. That was a really good burst of thunder pouncing onto the microphone right here. That was great. But, yeah, Scott Sabrin wasn't even playing because he was rehabbing from an injury too. He didn't suit up for the team. So uh, yeah, the idea that they were sending Sabrin down to play against Gallagher and Price and injure them, uh, yeah, okay. That is definitely what happened, right? So talk to me in the comments what you think about the Marlies versus Rocket game. I know it's kind of weird to put so much emphasis to the point of making a full video about an AHL game, especially the last one of the Laval Rocket season, but I don't know, just wanted to get it out there. Just talk about the weird circumstance that was Gallagher and Price suiting up for Laval. Talk to me in the comments what you thought about all this stuff. If you made it to the end, comment down in the comment section below Imagine Dragons because, yeah, there was thunder that was really, really loud on this video. And I'm thinking about thunder, you know, Imagine Dragons. Easy connection there. Talk to me in the comments what you think of you enjoyed this with Ash Rolls 99. And the rain is coming out really loud. Oh my goodness, I can hear it really loudly. Bye.